The National Alliance of Mental Illness presents their 10th annual Healing Arts Show. And here to tell us a little bit more about the artists and also about the show in general, we have Jamie Gurgle and also our artist, Kirsten. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Now, Jamie, let's start with you. Can you give us an overview of what this show is all about? Yeah, so this is our 10th annual show this year, and we have 35 artists participating. So each artist was able to submit one piece of artwork in, to be in the show, and then the rest of their art can be displayed in other ways. Um, so each of the artists have one thing in common mm -hmm. and that's that they all have experienced mental illness at some point in their life. So from, it ranges in different types of mental illness. So there's people with bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety, eating disorders. It's really across the board. And this is one way to express themselves in something that everyone can relate to. Yeah, so uh, there's so many research studies that show how art can contribute to overall well-being mm -hmm. and so it really shows in all of our artists it's used for a great form of self-care towards recovery so each artist has such a different story and it really does show in their work well Kirsten let's talk a little bit about your story and sure. you are a graphic designer by trade I am so you're normally creating things for others correct but this is different this is different yeah this is fine art and it's uh, my own voice versus mm -hmm. um, uh, my clients. So, so tell us a little bit about the pieces that you brought with you. Well the pieces uh, behind us represent um, a struggle with stigma within my own family and my own self mm -hmm. um, and it also is a story of mental illness which um, often is seen in families throughout generations um, so that is the story of those. And so putting this all together this was a healing process for you. Definitely, yeah, it was definitely about the journey, um, the process, um, looking at old things that have happened and reframing them to move on, so. And you also were telling me, especially since October is breast cancer awareness, but you had stage three cancer and yes. dealing with the mental illness was a lot harder. Definitely, yeah. And how so? Well, I would say that. The um, stigma? Yeah, I would say that I was never um, judged as mm -hmm. much for having cancer, mm -hmm. um, but with any um, mental struggles, um, I feel judgment mm -hmm. and um, and stigma with that. So, so this is a wonderful way. What kind? What different um, modes of art? It's not all like. Kirsten has done like a graphic design, but you have all different forms. Yeah, we have every different type of artwork you can imagine. We have a lot of paintings, sketches, pottery, almost anything you can think of. We even have a lot of 3D pieces on display as well. So each piece is just so different and it's really telling of the artist. So what mm -hmm. would you like to tell people about your journey and, and how this has helped you? Um, I. I would have to say that it's less about the finished piece and mm -hmm. about replicating what's what life shows us. So when I was younger and I would I would draw, it was about oh, did you make that look just like the real thing? Whereas now it's more interpretive, um, more um, the journey, and then not the final product. And giving so. you a voice too. Yeah, and a voice too. Yeah. Well, it is just beautiful, and uh, this will all be on display through the month of October and the month of November at the very special arts office. And you can go take a look. How many pieces do you have? There's 35. Okay. Um, so yep, yeah, they're all on display at VSA Wisconsin. And there's no fee to go take a look, um, and it is through Monday through Thursday. So so thank you so much for sharing your journey and also uh, for sharing the artwork with us this morning. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us.